Yeah. It's an ultra compact PC. So you see, it replaces, a, it's basically a desktop PC in a very small form factor. So you have Ethernet cable, USB 3, mini display port, HDMI. This is the power input. You also have another USB right on the front. Inside, you can see it's, this is a mini PCIe uh, port for a mini PCIe module. Okay. We bundle here, if, when you buy this, you'll have a Wi Fi module here, All right. also as part of the kit. But you use your own M SATA and also your SO DIMMs, you, you can right. use your own. Okay. We're offering uh, four versions, so you can have Celeron, i3, i5, and also i7. Right. It's kind of similar to the Intel NUC, and you see, uh, no, yeah. but ours is actually smaller, it's right. not quite as high. And of course, we offer the i7 version, which Intel doesn't offer. So this, this comes in uh, Core i3, Core i5, Core i7 SKUs, or yeah. So from Celeron to i7, all the way. All right. Okay. i3, i5. And uh, this screen is showing. Uh, where you install the hard a hard drive, or you have to install a M SATA. M SATA. Okay. And till what capacities? Sorry? Is there a limit on the capacity of M SATA that you? Can no, use? I don't think so. I think, I think right now. 256 is probably the biggest M SATA you're going to find on the market, but I think the price of a 128 now is actually quite reasonable. And uh, who are these targeted as basically? Is it just home users or some special specialty purpose? Well, I mean, for me, I think this is be very useful for people in university. All right. But you know, like when I, when I build a PC for my wife uh -huh. or at home, you know, I, I build this giant thing and I put it in the living room. I think this is a more elegant kind of living room right, right. kind of device, right? All right. And it's also, it also can be used in digital signage. Okay. So you can see around the back. You can see we're actually using the device here. Oh, okay. So this is Visa Mountain. Right.